So today we're at uh, Payne's Prairie. Um, Payne's Prairie is in Florida, south of Gainesville. And we intend to uh, not only do some wild journeys, videography, and uh, tell you about Payne's Prairie, we also intend to bring you, what are we gonna bring them? Some secret animals. Some secret animals called buffalo. They're buffalo in Florida. It's a wild herd. It's the only wild herd in Florida. There's a place called Payne's Prairie, which is a state park, and uh, it's right off the, the I-75. It's a great little place to see buffalo in Florida. Um, a lot of people don't know, but buffalo, this was their southernmost range, and they were here through the 1700s, um, before the Europeans uh, invaded. <laughs> anyway, there's a herd that's been reestablished, and uh, we're gonna try to get some pictures and some video uh, we may may see nothing at all but I thought this was interesting and people would probably like to see buffalo and they don't uh, you don't have to go out west to see these things they're right here in Florida there's a great observation deck it's uh, three stories high basically and it looks out over the prairie. It's like a, a savanna, um, and that's where the buffalo generally are. Um, they're out behind me. There's a savanna, and there's the tower. So we're going to go to the top. This used to be a former lake, and then it drained. Um, once it drained, it created a savanna, and bison were in Florida. This is the southernmost range of the bison, the same bison that you know from out west in, in Yellowstone and areas like that. Um, they were here and when the Europeans um, came to North America, uh, coincidentally, they disappeared. Um, it's, uh, it's quite a story. This group was brought here in the, I want to say the 80s. I may be wrong. Um, it's not a large uh, number of bison or buffalo, same thing. Um, right now, um, the latest number I saw, they'd been up to about 70, but apparently there were too many, and they had to cull some of them. Um, right now, there's probably 10 or 20, I'm guessing. All kinds of wildlife here, everything from sandhill cranes um, to deer. Um, there's Spanish uh, stallions um, here uh, from the days of you know the Spanish exploration. There are hogs here, which you can see, but um, the main interest I've always had is the bison, and I don't think we're gonna see any today. Ah! I are at Payne's Prairie. We're going a different day. Uh, so this is like in addition to uh, my previous visit a few days ago. We're trying to see buffalo so we could add a little bit more to the uh, to the video, so we hope we find it. But first, it's bathroom time. Pit stop. Behind me, near the restrooms, is a bald eagle nest, um, which is really hidden. Nobody can see it. Uh, anyway, if you stand anywhere near the visitor center, um, you'll be able to hear them. And if you take a walk back to Dyke. Cones Dyke, um, there's a restroom. If you stand at the restroom, you'll be able to hear them too. Uh, it's really something. Quite a bit of wildlife here. Um, and pretty accessible to anybody. You can see some of the buffalo because they have birds on their backs. Just flew away. We got lucky. And as soon as we walked up to the uh, visitor center, which went up until nine, um, we saw a buffalo. That's pretty cool. They were right here. He was right here. We 
got here this morning, came early, got here right at 8, uh, went through the entrance and came back uh, where I was the other day in the previous video segment um, where we saw basically some horses at a hell of a distance. Uh, today we find ourselves with the entire herd of buffalo um, like right to our back and I'm hoping you might be able to see it. Uh, let's see there. I'm gonna have to... Karen's actually photographing the herd which is out there towards the top um, like right around there and uh, the herd's just kind of chilling. We saw like one or two buffalo and then it became apparent once we got up here that um, the entire herd was here. We counted about 34 or 35. 34. 34. And there's Karen. She's the photographer today. Say hi, Karen. Hola. Alrighty, we're going to get some pictures and then we're going to start on the trail. But um, I've not seen a herd of buffalo this big in decades. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> we heard some bald eagles. We saw some. Yeah. Saw one image here. I think I saw that the other day. And then I thought I saw two. There might be a nest right over there. Mm. Right next to the visitor center. I saw a couple in the, in the nest. And, uh, we are actually on the prairie now. There's a, a trail. What's the name of it? Cones Dyke Trail. Cones Dyke Trail. And um, it puts you literally on, on Payne's Prairie. And on Payne's Prairie, uh, there are buffalo, which um, are behind us over in, in that general direction there. Uh, and there's a herd, and it's uh, pretty neat. I'll get some pictures and post that. Um, probably like right up here I'll post it so get ready for that um, anyway it's a great little trail we're hoping to run into some Spanish stallions um, interestingly enough on the opposite side of this trail that's the prairie and it looks like that's private property right behind us and there are cattle and the regular domesticated stuff so wild on one side not so wild on the other and since we're wild journeys, we're gonna stay on this side. So we're walking along the trail, um, Cone's Dyke Trail, and uh, uh, Karen noticed something that was pretty cool. So Karen, why don't you, uh, why don't you tell us what you found? Yeah, and that's where the horses rub, I guess, their <sighs> bodies, their sides, their backs, and scratch. So it's scratching tree for? Yeah, scratching post. Is it bison, do you think, or? It could be bison or horses, but probably horses. Horses? I like to think up. bison. Because you know what, when I think Payne's Prairie, I'm very excited about bison. Well, the footprints here are more horse-like underneath it. I don't see the gouges that the But maybe it was a bison disguising itself as a horse. Like maybe it was wearing horse shoes. Possibility. Yep. The buffalo are everywhere and you see some really neat prints of buffalo. But what's more interesting, it looks like there were about a thousand hogs here. If I didn't know buffalo were here, I'd say there were a thousand hogs. So we're gonna take a look behind us or to the side. But behind us you can see all the muck is turned up and it, it's quite a distance. Um, it looks like the buffalo were preoccupied with this section of prairie. It's very wet and mucky. I'm not entirely sure why, so maybe if you know a reason, you can uh, contribute to the, uh, to the replies on this. Let us know what you think. Buffalo or hog? I'm going with buffalo. What are you going with? Um, I only see evidence of big hog, uh, buffalo prints, so I'm thinking buffalo. But not big hog? Not big hog. You said big hog. So you ever wonder what it's like to see buffalo in Florida? Were you wondering that? 
I was wondering, and what is it like to see buffalo in Florida? I say that all the time. Yeah, I mean, it's common. If you're from Florida, you say, what's you say up with what? that? What are you talking about, and then, Willis? And then, you see, and then you see buffalo in Florida. And that's one reason why you should subscribe to Wild Journeys, because only Wild Journeys brings you buffalo from Florida. That's right. Not Buffalo, New York. Not Buffalo Wings. Oh, by the way, that behind us is the visitor center to Payne's Prairie. That's where Wild Journeys was today. And we brought you... Me. Buffalo. Oh. <laughs> so subscribe. <laughs>